Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. Yes, I'm down here again on Dover Seafront. It's beautiful, it's blue sky, not a cloud in the sky. It's really warm in the mid to high teens. Don't need a coat. Built up a little bit of a sweat walking along the seafront here. But I thought I'll get out the office because I've been in the office for the last two days. We don't have much of a window, so it's like 10 odd hours of hardly any daylight, natural daylight. So I thought, what a beautiful day to get out, enjoy Dover Seafront, and uh, maybe we'll go and do a little bit of blueberry hunting in Poundland as well. Uh, but I also need to pop to Asda as well, as don't, yes, <laughs> see what we can find there. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave you with a few soothing sights and sounds of the beautiful Dover Seafront. Okie dokie, so we are done with our little walk along the seafront. It's lovely. Oh, it's really getting warm and there's so many people about getting their daily exercise in the lovely blue sky before it snows again. <laughs> right, okie dokie, so we are done down here. I've got probably about 5,000 steps, so that's good for today. Uh, but uh, I shall generate a few more steps. So let's go and do a little bit of blue ray hunting, shall we? Yes, let's head off to Poundland first, and then we'll go and have a look in Asda. Hang on a minute. You're not Linda. Lift impersonator. Lift impersonator. Okay, so let's go and have a look in Poundland, see if they've anything had anything new in. Okay, so a couple of titles in here. They've got cars, so that's a new delivery. The artist, uh, usual Transformers, uh, Percy Jackson. That's uh, a newish one, but uh, they've got the usual stuff: San Andreas, Spy, the Great Cloverfield. There, great that we're going to get a proper sequel to that one. We also have Arthur and Pride of Glory, I think that was. Uh, Rise of the Guardians. Legend of the Guardians is the one I want with the owls. I keep getting those two mixed up. But we have some Resident Evil fame. Who wants to live forever? <laughs> I thought that was Queen. Uh, I, Kit Frankenstein. Some X-Men there. And look, some fr fruit pastels next to it. Uh, we've also got the Ghost, uh, Ghostbusters. We've got the Poltergeist remake, which uh, I already picked up. Uh, oh. Nicholas Cage or Firewall, uh, Harrison Ford, and um, Paul Bettany. I've seen this once many years ago. I don't think I've seen that one in here before. We've got that Daring to Dream that seems to be everywhere though. Uh, Magic Moonlight, Kid Alt Hood, Foot Soldier, and, and the Apes. Plus uh, Ted 
and some Bond there, so some Skyfall. Regurgence, Independence Day, and some Alvin and the Chipmunks. Uh, some Hangovers, I think there's two lots of Hangovers in here. <laughs> the woman next to me. Uh, plus a really great war film. Uh, Fury there. Sex and the City, no, I'll leave that one. Oh God, I'll definitely leave that one. Uh, what we got down there? We've got Rush, uh, some more Transformers, yeah, Marigold Hotel, Limitless, some Bourne, which I've just picked up the 4K, so I don't really need them. More Ted, more Rush, more Alvin and the Chipmunks, and some uh, Ice Age. Uh, oh, we've got a, a Liam Neeson non stop with a Lenticular, which I have already picked up. Bullet to the Head, uh, more Independence Day there. A uh, bit of Underworld and uh, Centurion and I managed to get one box down so let's have a look see what we've got it's Deliver Us From Evil uh, I'm not sure about that one it does look a bit scary you win and uh, we also have There Be Dragons as well so that's uh, quite interesting these are a few new ones which I haven't seen before Red Dawn with uh, Chris Hemsworth see District 9 there as well and some horrible bosses and some Star Wars Force Awakens and uh, 22 bullets with Jean Renoir <laughs> Jean Reno for, to us yes the professional returns Leon 2 I don't think so probably a cheap knockoff uh, GI Joe there and uh, Dark Skies. This looks a bit spooky from the creators of Insidious. I don't think I've got it though. Okay, so out of the town centre here. Uh, I did pick up a couple of Blu-rays. I picked up four from Poundland. Plus there was a box up the top which I picked one or two out of. Uh, but I've just been into Zicosta to get my lovely gingerbread cream latte. Oh yes, that hits the spot. Uh, and yes, I got my snack, my mid-morning snack. My sausage bap. You can't go wrong with a sausage bap. Fantastic. Right, we are done here. Let's go to our last stop of the day. The place where dumb people shop. That's right, it's Asda. Asda. But then I had a thought. Hang on a minute, I'm going to Asda. Does that make me dumb? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it does. Right, let's go to Asda then. Okay, so we're at Asda. Let's go in and have a look, see if they've got any Blu-rays and DVDs. Entertainment. Okay, so we're at the Blu-ray in the 4K section. Uh, we have the Karate Kid collection here, the first four films, not including the, uh, uh, the Jaden Smith and, you know, that one. Uh, £15. Don't know if I want to pick that up. Uh, I've got the first one on 4K. We've got Picard there as well. Some cheaper ones here. Uh, the Kingsman films. Both Kingsman. Pretty good. Five quid each on Blu-ray. So that's pretty good. Uh, Greatest Showman there for £10. Here we have Paul Robinson's greatest film of all time. Birds of Prey. <laughs> Only kidding, Paul. Uh, we also have Ghostbusters 1 and 2. I think this is the glow-in-the-dark Halloween uh, Trolls there and Back to the Future, the trilogy, the new remastered Blu-rays for £15. Down here, uh, what have we got? We've got some Batman there, we've got some Skyfire and some Spider-Man as well. £13 for Homecoming, that's dear isn't it? Uh, unhinged down the bottom here we have a Van Damme connection of three films. Not exactly his best films, very weak three films there for ten quid. Oh, look, it's Kermit's ghost's favourite film of all time. <laughs> yes. Anyway, uh, we've got a film called Odds. Odds? Saw for a new generation. Jesus Christ, look at that lot on there. Yeah, I don't think anybody wants to cross her. Yeah, let's put that back. She might come after me with a machete. Uh, we have Abigail haunting. I don't know who she's haunting, but... She seems to be levitating. Leviosa. Yes. He seems to be screaming his bollocks off. Uh, Crone Wood. What the hell kind of film is that? God, what is that? Is that some kind of doll? Yeah, don't like the look of that. But we do have Relic. Uh, looks quite good. I've heard good things about this one. 
yeah, she looks a bit scary as well. And up here we have the Tremors, the uh, Shrieker Island, one of the newest ones on DVD. And Pinocchio as well. I don't remember seeing this one in cinemas. Roberto Benini or director streaming. So did it just all of a sudden appear on DVD and nobody ever knew about it? What's it like? Up here we have uh, this thing. I've got this actually. Pillar pad or something where you can stick it on your chest or put your iPad on it. Really good it is. Uh, down here we have some flippity fish cat toy bobby would have loved this i might pick one of these ones up for for uh, maya lulu and claire's cat though and see what she does with it she'd probably just take it outside and rip the shit out of it okay so not a bad little selection but i've seen better but anyway let's go back to the car and i'll show you what i picked up today okay so out of asda uh didn't really pick anything up from asda Although I was tempted to pick up The Karate Kid, all those four films for 15 quid. Then I thought, well, I've got the first one on 4K. Uh, I can just watch the other two, I suppose. I'm not bothered about the uh, uh, Hilary Swank one. But uh, I did pick up four Blu-rays while we were in Poundland. They only had one box, unfortunately. Uh, what I picked up, I picked up The Festival. I know it's been in Poundland for a few times, quite a few times actually. Uh, I've never seen this, but it is from the creators of The Inbetweeners. I've always meant to pick it up. I love The Inbetweeners. It is one of the funniest, funniest British shows ever. I mean, The Inbetweeners is up there with Only Fools and Horses, 40 Towers Bottom, all that kind of stuff. Absolutely fantastic. I could just sit and watch episode after episode of the in-betweeners and the films the films are not too bad the first film is the best film uh the australian one the second film yeah it's, it's entertaining especially the old water slide <laughs> yes quick get out of the way of that thing i thought it was a mars bar right so yes time to go mad in a field the festival uh, also starring joe thomas obviously from uh the in-betweeners this one, I couldn't remember if I picked this one up originally. I'll probably find out that it's actually in the the big tub in the storeroom. Because there's a massive, you know that plastic, you know those plastic tubs I was showing you when I was rearranging the Blu-rays in the bedroom? I've got one of those tubs in the storeroom stacked to the top with Poundland Blu-rays that I've picked up over the last two years. And newer ones uh, that... We're just trying to get to the bottom of the uh, the, the current Poundland bin before we ref refinish it with oh, refinish it replenish it with all the ones from the tub. So uh, yeah, there are loads in there. So I'm hoping at some point in the summer to actually get into the storeroom. I want to do a little video from the storeroom or two, like maybe a two-parter, because. Uh, I moved from a smaller storage unit to a larger one and I had to shift everything from one unit to the next unit uh, and just as I was about to start going through it all, Mama Bowman, myself in the hospital and locked down and I never got back. I mean I've been up there once or twice to pick up a few things but everything is all over the place so I want to be able to go through it with you uh, because there's a lot of good stuff in there there's a lot of good Star Wars toys signed Star Wars toys um, I want to go through maybe some of my vinyl collection uh, I've got uh, a ZX Spectrum computer so we could go through some games uh, I'm probably not going to rig it up because it probably <laughs> won't bloody work I don't suppose although it probably will but I probably haven't got the right connections. Yes, so I've got probably about 100 cassette tape games like Manic Miner and Jet Set Willy and all that kind of stuff. People that are not into Spectrum or don't know anything about Spectrum computer games are wondering what the hell is Jet Set Willy? What is a Manic Miner? All will become clear when we go through the video. Uh, I also want to go through my VHS collection as well because literally every VHS tape I've got is in that storeroom. Everything from music concerts, I've got a absolutely massive Buffy and Angel uh, VHS collection box set. 
a lot of them are signed by most of the cast of the shows so we'll go through those because i used to go to tons of buffy uh, conventions in the uk met loads of cast members probably met nearly all of them all of them except seven michelle geller damn it she never came over um but yeah there's loads of stuff plus also my movie vhs tapes as well i know i'm rambling on my movie vhs tapes like the original star wars vhs the uh the terminator 2 vhs tape i paid 80 quid for in 1992 i think it was but uh more on that later we'll we'll definitely do that because i want to do a good detailed video of showing you what's in the storeroom uh it'll be like an episode of storage wars <laughs> a bit now <laughs> yep <laughs> okay so let's get back to the uh the pound land so yes this one i picked up oh, get the sun off it dark skies I don't know if I picked this one up originally. I can't bloody remember. Uh, truly terrifying. This is from the producer of Insidious, I think, and, and Sinister. So, <laughs> anything with the word Insidious in, he's not a good start for me. It says chills and spooky thrills, but I'm willing to give it a go for two quid. Uh, this one I picked up, I remember watching this one years ago with Harrison Ford and uh, Vision himself, Paul Bettany. This is called Firewall. Uh, this is about holding um, a, ho a family hostage while Harrison Ford has to get some money out of a safe or something, or out of a bank, and Paul Bettany holds his family hostage. Uh, I've only seen it once, but I remember it's a really good film. It's a really heavy one. I don't know why it's heavy. It's only got one disc. It's probably got one of those huge, thick booklets inside. The last one I picked up uh, from the producers of Taken, uh, is 22 Bullets with Jean Renard, <laughs> Jean Reno or Jean Reno. And it says, The Professional Returns. I'm sure it's not Leon 2. I'm sure they're just doing that as a marketing ploy. It says, A fully loaded revenge thriller with Jean Reno back to his brooding best. Well executed and shamelessly entertaining. After a long, brutal and successful career in the Marseille, Marcel Mafia, Jean Reno <laughs> has turned a new leaf and gone straight. For three years, he has lived a quiet life devoted to his wife and two young children. Then one winter morning, he is left for dead on the docks of the old port with 22 bullets in his body. Somehow he survives. So that's probably why it's called 22 bullets. Yes. He better not drink a lot of water, otherwise he'll turn into a watering can. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to watching that one. I'm sure it's nothing like Leon, even though it says the professional returns. Why can they just put Le Leon is back? <laughs> but uh, anyway, that is the, the only four pickups I got. The others were okay. There's a lot of repeated stuff in there. This was a Poundland that I haven't been in for quite a while. Uh, but um, I'm hoping once, you know, all the non-retail shops open and deliveries start picking up, we can get some... Uh, some more blu-rays but they are to go into the poundland bin i'm going to put these ones in the poundland bin that we've already got so you know not don't put them in the one in the storeroom because we won't get to them for about five years <laughs> but if i put them in the ones <laughs> we won't get to them for five years the rate you're too churning out your videos anyway when was the last poundland bin probably be about six weeks ago oh jeez oh dear i need to i need to step up my videos i'm losing it Yes, we'll put them in the Poundland bin in the bedroom and then we, there's a chance that we might uh, pick one of those out, pick one of those or two out. But I think that's it. Um, I don't think there's anything else we can do. There's only so much you can do uh, when not really anything is open. Uh, I walked past Menkind. I really wanted to go into Menkind. Uh, CEX was boarded up. Charity shops boarded up. <sighs> HMV's boarded up yeah not a lot to do but uh, i hope you enjoyed this little out and about i wanted to get out in the sunshine in the warmth uh while i could because i've been cooped up most of the time this week at home well not at home at work uh, in an office in front of a computer screen what's he do it, for two days he's at work looking at a computer screen on his day off he picks up a phone and records himself and looks at a, com a, a smaller computer screen yeah today's uh today's children eh 
anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Stick down in the comments if you've seen any of those films. Will I enjoy the festival? Is it very in between is he? <laughs> Have you seen 22 Bullets? Is it anything like the Leon or The Professional? And um, yeah, until the next video, bye.